Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, just a little um, chat with you to let you know, I know I've been, I kind of disappeared for a while, um, away from Facebook, the Ren Circle group, I just needed to take um, a time out. Um, for me. <laughs> For me and I know a lot of you sent message messages to me um asking me was I okay and I'm sorry I didn't reply it's just I didn't want to speak to anyone and um I wanted to just be on my own and I do that now and again um when I feel that there's um I feel I need to make a transition um over the years, I found that from Samhain to Embolic, um, you know, I used to go deep. I found I went deep and deep in that purging out a lot of things that weren't serving me anymore. Um, pondering, taking a look at things three and four times, you know, really ruminating. And uh, but this time, I think it was because of the COVID and the overwhelming outworld circumstances that were happening. I went even deeper and I actually didn't come out of it at Mbolic at all. I continued it right through summer solstice. I was actually isolating myself. I caused a self-imposed isolation, I'd say from about March to about a month ago and it's only now I have felt ready to come back um, to the Wren Circle and I don't know as if I'll come back much to Facebook. Um, I'll see. Um, anyway, I've done that. I, I just explain I've at times a tough transition. I've often, I, I remember a good few years ago, I took a year off work and completely and utterly removed myself from humans <laughs> um, and just lived with nature and didn't mix too much with anyone, to be honest with you. I preferred my own company and to allow nature to heal me, to answer my questions, to just be me. And... Um, I think now and again, if you can do that, um, it's very beneficial because you just purge out things, you deeply ruminate, you you deeply go within and you transform and transformate and uh, transmate transmutate, and um, it's hard to do it, but it's it's a brilliant. Um, experience to go through and there's a lot of crying a lot of anger a lot of um, shame a lot of everything you go through all the emotions but you eventually come out the other side by forgiving yourself and you come out a lot stronger and a lot more with compassion as well so that's why I haven't been around and, but thank you for all the messages from everyone that sent me, you know, wondering was I okay. I was okay. I just didn't want to speak to anyone. I didn't want, I just didn't want to. I wanted to be um, on my own. Um, and I feel so much better for it um, now. So, the reason I just wanted to say that is because I know I've been missing and everyone has noticed I've been missing. So I just needed to explain that. But I'm fine again. And I was fine even going through the transition. You know, it's all a blessing, to be honest with you. Um, it's all good. Um, even when you go through the hard times, they're there to make you stronger. They're there to find a strength within yourself, deep within yourself, you know, and it's it's very good for all of us if we do that. And I've done it a good few times in my life when I've had to come across, come through a major transition. 
because you can't ignore it for finish. Eventually, you break down. You know, you 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 can't go on because there's something needs to be addressed, and you've got to go and address it. So anyway, I'm fine now, but the reason I've just done this little introduction to the um this video is because Tom King rang me about two weeks ago, and I hadn't heard from Tom in a while, um, but that was fine. And uh, it was nice to hear from him and he invited me up to the forge uh, for an evening and I videoed it. Naturally, I asked Tom, did he want me to video it? And uh, he agreed and we had a lovely evening and I want to thank Tom so much for calling me and inviting me up. And it was lovely to reconnect with a really true friend. And um, I love him a lot as my friend and so grateful that he invited me up and I had a lovely evening. So without further ado, here's my visit to Tom King, the Gaba, and I hope you enjoy it and I'll talk to you soon. And thank you for your understanding and patience. So on with the video. Hi, Tom. Hello, Barbara. Tom, you rang me up there about two weeks ago to invite me up. It was yes. the best conversation I had. As you know, I haven't been in the Wren Circle for a while. I just need a time out. That's not a problem, yes. So it was good for you to ring me and well, invite me up today. Enjoy the chat. Yeah, oh yeah. So I've been here for about an hour, Tom, haven't I? We've been chatting <laughs> <laughs> about this and that. Tom is forging up the forge now. Show us what you've done, Tom. Oh! Yeah, it's a nice tight spiral, narrow, tight that's, wound that's spiral. That's a good spiral, Tom. Yeah, we're, we're making a swan, swan pendant. Are you? Yes. Oh, lovely. As Tom says, you just get the first bit of it done right first, haven't you? That's correct, yeah. Nice and tight. If you get off on a bad start there, it kind of leads you astray, so you need to get a nice tight circle on the inside. Yeah. And once it gets nice and tight, it's a matter of just following the, 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 the natural curvature of the spiral and just let it just let it work itself. So I want the heat now in this forge now, or for the fire in this area here so we can keep working and keep bringing it. Yeah. I don't need it in the body of it. The body of it is fine. So I need the heat in this area here in order to scroll it and keep working it. Lovely time, I'll so leave I you. I'm place it in the fire now. And I'm gonna just encourage the heart of the fire now where I want it on the steel. And I want to concentrate now because if I lose concentration, I actually can boil it and can lose it. So yeah. I have to watch what I'm doing now. I won't talk to you while no, you're doing this. Away, but I, I'm conscious now when I watch this now. Yeah. So I gotta get, gotta get warm quite quickly you now. You can see getting warm there now. You can see a nice colour of heat there now. Lovely. Back to the fire now, if you just need it up. Yeah. Lovely Tom. Tom is the kettle boiling as well. There's Greg. <laughs> Greg is Greg is, Greg is filming you as well now. Five star Michelin. With yeah, you've been filming now from both directions, Tom. You realise that, don't you? You'll be on the red carpet next. The Oscars, on. here we come. <laughs> Again, I've got a good heat now. I yeah. secret now so I can lose the heat pretty quickly when I'm up on the anvil there because it's a, a smaller steel so I need to get back. Tom. You really really are mastering it now aren't you? Uh, yeah. It's the relationship you have with your fire isn't it? Yes absolutely you know so you just get into the zone market and you all of a sudden you just become immersed into it and uh, there is nothing like it it is so enjoyable. 
I've got the Lyric FM and the classic tunes playing in the background. <laughs> Couldn't be happier. I know. And we're at Tom's Forge actually, and it's it's in it's on the where are we? Bohemian. Bohemian, the smooth road. The smooth road up to Tara, isn't that right? That's correct. The Irish word for a uh, smooth road is Bohemian, so uh, one of the five roads of the ancient world of Tara. So it's quite a privilege to be working a forge on route to Tara in the old days. So. Absolutely, Tom. Is that how you got this call in to do this, Tom? Yes, I think so. Always fascinated with the myth and legend and. You know, as you grow up, listening to the story and appreciating all the artworks and the great people of long ago who created and made and we've all the wonderful relics to see now in the National Museum. So it's great just to be able to kind of take up the reins and uh, give it a go and, and, and replicate it best we can. And this, the support and the reach out has been incredible. So it's, mm. it's great fun, you know, so as you just very said, appreciative. As you said to me there earlier, Tom, that fire five to six thousand years ago is yes. the same fire that's lit today. Correct. A fire is a fire and Yeah, I mean the look the fuel and the charge is different, albeit yeah. set up here, but if you can imagine our ancestors how they work fires with leather bellows and a, a team of people around us working the best they could and what they created was just magical. Yeah. Yeah it is, isn't it? And of course this is the spiral is unique to our heritage, isn't it? That's correct, yeah. Now so I have to say, Tom, that it's a unique experience coming up to visit with you. It is. Not only you being a good friend of mine, but yeah. the thing is, if you are invited up here to Tom's uh, Forge, I mean, you get like you get like the kettle is boiling as well, and that's this is the sitting room over here. <laughs> like this is where the chat goes down. This you is know, the banquet set for the Dedonna, yeah. the, the modern day Dedonna. <laughs> The modern day to it on and yes. yeah. And uh, we have a grand kettle up there. We've already had a cup of tea. And like Tom's place is beautiful here. He's show you all the beautiful, he's got lovely trees surrounding. I mean, it's just beautiful here. It's like it's like a bit of time out of time, Tom. Sorry? It's time out of time. It is indeed, yeah. yeah. And that's the thing you see, you know, we all crawl, you know enter this world of fantasy and you know it's all good fun at the end of the day you know we're working a network we're working a craft myth and legend very much like the ancestors very much like what the, with the history books and all the books that we can read there we can associate it. and of course the great myth and the blacksmiths and all that goes with it so you know it's great to talk about it, but it's talking is one thing but actually go and do it and experience it and the, the great reward is when margaret and you know friends come and visit and they experience it for themselves. You know, I had a, a pal there, Anne Doherty came over from Portland, Oregon there two or three months ago. And it was incredible to watch Anne work the fire. It was a great honor to see someone who just, you know, said, you know, I want to come and visit. And they had a go with the fire, had a go with the anvil, and she made her own swan pendants with a little bit of assistance. And she got tremendous enjoyment out of that, you know, and the feedback from that has been incredible. Very much looking forward to next time Anne comes out there, you know, yeah. so it's all good fun, you know, and it's, it's a great placement there when we think of our location in the ancient east in the Boyne Valley. Like we're very lucky to be within a stone throw of an hour's drive, even 20 minutes from the Hill of Tara, yeah. Hill of Slain, Nout, New Grange, Doubt, all the, 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 the hot spots, so to speak. You're near Loch Crew and you're near Ishnock as Correct well, right. practically. Yeah, I mean, yeah, an yeah. hour down the drive, we're with the Midlands and uh, yeah. with Ishnock. So again, it's a very sacred land and, uh, you know, it's great to encourage that, uh, you know, the visitor come and participate and uh, have a go create for yourself and yeah. they experience it so and it's what, a and, to entertain you and know? what a person to do it with oh, yourself well, Tom it's good I, mean, I mean honestly <laughs> I mean, honestly you would get anyone fortune <laughs> well I mean yeah. you know there's creativity in everybody yeah. it's just different people have different levels of encouragement you know some need a little bit more work some don't because their confidence is high and when your confidence is high you can take on anything you know you give it a go and see where it goes but at the same time if you get the experience, it's an incredibly re rewarding experience because, you know, it gets you out of a comfort mm. zone. Not many people can say they have worked fire and anvil. So when you do work it, it becomes a tremendously satisfying one to do on the book of this, some would say, you know. So exactly. uh, definitely give it a go, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it just takes you out of the business of, of life. It does. You need to extract yourself. Modern society is so complex. There's a lot of unhappiness. There's a lot of anxiety. I almost use the words of digital detox. You know, just get back to basics. It's a control all delete, reset, and reestablish. Yeah. You know, you really can align to re you know to reestablish what's really important. Yeah. And when you do establish what's really important, 
there's a completely different light than thrown on a lot of stuff. You realise what really matters. Exactly, you know, When Tom. we look at the COVID situation and all the upset that's caused, a lot of people will think of it in the negatives, and there is a lot of negativity. There is, there's no doubt about that. But the, but the optimist will never look at that in that aspect. You've got to look at it in another way. You've got to look at it in the opportunity. What can you take from that? And from my own personal experience, it's been an incredible opportunity just to refocus, realign, and get making. And yeah. When you get making and you keep busy, mm. you don't get involved in such mm. turmoil. You know, it gets to the point where you don't listen to the news because the news is the same news the day before. So it's just a different figure. Turn off the news and listen to something else. Life's too short. We don't want to be listening to that exactly. corrosive conversation because it is, it kind of can grind you down. You know? yeah. So don't get involved. Does. Use the opportunity. Mm. Count your blessings and move on. You know. Yeah. I agree with you, Tom. And I found with the COVID that um, uh, I needed a huge lesson for myself as yes. well. Um, that I needed, I came back to simplifying things Correct. in my life. Yes. And um, when you rang me there two weeks ago, I was delighted you did, Tom. Yes. Honestly, because <laughs> I, I went, oh my God, there's nothing better than yeah. to meet a friend yeah. and you're able to say yeah. what what it is that you're feeling Correct. inside. Yeah. And to come out here today and sit by the, the yeah. kettle and look yeah. at that. You see, the I mean, are, yeah. I mean, I just love it. You We've see, been, it's, it's back to basics. Yeah. It's like back to conversation. I don't even know what time it is at Correct. the moment. And, and, and I don't, don't want to know. know. You don't I, you need know. to know. I mean, as I say, the opportunity now is the reconnection. Yeah. You know, to be able to look people in the eye, to be able to talk, listen, yeah. and engage. And all of a sudden, you know, there's a there's a feel good factor about that. Because yeah. a lot of people have lost that ability. Yeah. I remember being in my friend in, in, the, in the city there, and I just, it, I have been in the city for a while, but the one thing which is so obvious, everybody is connected with these smartphones. There's earplugs in their head. Yeah. They are so disconnected. Away. Even though I'm filming on my smartphone. People, well, but people have lost the ability with a simple conversation or a simple But they hello. have, yeah. And, and that, that's a tragedy when you see that happen because yeah. all of a sudden society has become mechanized, isolated. And that's a very dangerous thing, yeah. you know. And one thing about the Irish character or the Irish culture is our hospitality, our welcome. Absolutely. And we need to cherish that. And, and this is a nucleus. And talk a, about your hospitality. You know, Tom is going making burgers in a minute yeah. on top of the fire. Like we're going having a we're going having a like well, as you know, a tour to Don and Barbecue. A banquet for the Queen. <laughs> And, and you know what? No, we're having a two of the Dun and yeah, Barbecue. I mean, and, and you know, when you think about it, I mean, when you read the books and look back in history and you walk through the valleys of Tara and there's a little sign, the banquet, well, try and visualize that oh, sure, that's on the amazing. festives of thousands of years back when it would have been lined with table, with feast, with people. Can horse, you imagine it? It's warriors. huge. You yeah. can imagine the kings how and many, the queens. How many fed, how many yet there? And Unbelievable. Absolutely. So you could imagine. You can picture it, you can visualise it. It you was a coming it. together of the clan, wasn't it? All we have now yeah. is a green mark on the field. But that, at one time, was a was a place of festive yes. and festivities and celebration. Yeah. These people hadn't got the digital we have now. No. So when you think about it, how happy or were they? They were much happier. I think so. You know, because, you know, to say, when, when we get it, the, the more we have, almost, the more unhappy we can be well, for some people. There's a great, um, Wayne Dyer uh, is one person, I've read his books, you know, yeah. and he, he, he wrote a book about the tale, the tale, the way of the tale, yes. right? And in, it, in one line in the book was, the more you have, yeah. the more you have to worry about. Correct the right. less you have, yeah. the less you have to worry Correct about. Right. Uh, our local priest said, and I, I, I thought this was very funny, he's, he never seen a hearse with a ball hitch on the back of it. You bring nothing with you, <laughs> you know, and that's so true. It is. You come into this world with nothing, you leave just the same well, way. Well, you come so, in. So, you know, you occupy what you occupy. You, but you look, come in on your own and yeah, you go out on your no own. Doubt. But as I say, yeah. the one thing this COVID situation has realised is, look, it's a control all reset. Reset back to basics. Yeah. Don't forget the principles. The, yeah. the engagement of the I agree with you. I think it was a time to reassess. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Because as I say, there's a lot of complexities, there's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of worry, and a lot of it is unnecessary. We don't need that. Yeah. Life is too short to have that type of headache. I agree with we you, don't Tom. Need that. You have to think I think it was a time if you yeah. took the opportunity you could have a time to reset what you wanted there's to no do with your about life. That. There's no doubt about it. You know. There's no doubt about it. Like I, I can see myself at a crossroads there leading the charge more so on this here now. Now, yeah. Because, look, the situation is you work to your best strengths, irrespective of a background or who you are, what you are. Yeah. So work what you have 
and then ask the question, can you make a living on, livelihood out of it? Yeah. So they're combining the two and it's a formidable force. And as then. I said to you before, Tom, it's it's you are the forge, Tom King. Yeah. And you're 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 passionate about it and like you can feel it off you oh, even every time great. I meet you. Yeah. And whatever that passion is within you, it comes out on what you produce. Yeah. yeah. You it know, does, yeah. and it does. Correct. And I mean I could have a bad day now and if I start doing my scroll work. It can actually reflect on it. Yeah. I could get a bad start, my mind isn't where it should be, and I'm having to rework or recorrect. Yeah. Then I ask myself, well, actually, you know what? No, no, no. Deep breath, go at it again, and watch what happens. Clear the mind. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you get a natural spiral, yeah. and it works with you. Not You're against lost you. in the moment with Correct your right. Yeah. Correct and right. And, and, and it's a reflection then on the piece itself. Exactly. Because you have a nice concentric scroll. You're as one with your oh, you art. You are as one, and, and yeah. there's, nothing, there's nowhere to hide with a circle. No. You can't hide behind that. No. You either have flat spot. I'll make it back. And you're so lucky you're creating spirals because oh, yeah, it's I all agree. it's all in the end. This energy yeah. moves into spiral. But, but, but the ability to create that, I know where I need to place that in the fire rather than just chuck it in the fire. Yeah. I need to have that in the heart where the heart can can heat that in. I don't need to worry about that there now. That's already formed. Yeah. So now I'm going to worry about this here to bring it forward yeah. and then start getting ready for the neck. Yeah. But I'm in the zone. And when I'm immersed in that, what's the time? It doesn't matter. No, there I is no time. On a, on a clear night. Wow, 11 o'clock, I better get home. Or there'll be the thunder clouds. <laughs> <laughs> there'll be the wardrobes banging, you no, know. No, no, she's, so, she's very, she's very patient. no, she she's loves you, Tom. You know, but she she, has, she's in it together because she, she sees the opportunity she, too. And she knows that you're she passionate does. about and, it. And most importantly, there yeah. for the children as well. Yeah. Uh, John and Sarah, eight and, and ten years yeah. of age. Absolutely very You're interesting. You're a rare gem, Tom. Oh, well, thank you so much, Margaret. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. <laughs> right. It takes good friends to make it, too, you know what I mean? I so, know. And you know, you know, you, you know from the minute I met you. You, you know. know from the minute I met you. Oh, well, I told, so much, I told you that. Yeah. Anyway, I'll leave you get back to that, Tom. We'll be back in a while. Okay. Uh, we'll back probably come back. Day. We'll probably come back when he's at the burger. Back after the burger. <laughs> yeah, when he's at the burger. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a while. The Hamlet had. Do you remember that there with the Rabsy Nesbitt guy? You know, the... The photo boot. <laughs> <laughs> the comb over. <laughs> well, Tom, you cooked us a lovely meal and we had tea. The kettle is still this kettle is still on. Yes. There'll, be, there'll be another there'll be another um there'll be another cup of tea, I suppose, oh, before we leave. Yeah. As you can see it's, it's got the twilight of the evening now. It's a lovely yeah, time of the evening now. It's it's nearly sunset. Yeah. And if we just stop for a minute we'll hear evening song. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful. Yeah. There's actually a buzzard knocking round to the roof. Is there? She came, she came over the, the chestnut there yesterday. So the birds are settling down. But anyway, we're still sitting here by the fire and we're having the old chat after the day's work, Tom. And I'd say our ancestors did this many thousand years ago, would you Absolutely, think? Absolutely, yeah. No doubt about that. And, and you know, it's, it's such an enjoyable part of the gathering, so to speak, that it's very important to be able to sit and chat, you know, I mean, yeah. it's a very simple setup, but it's thoroughly enjoyable, it yeah. really is, you know, and it's funny, you know, the friends I've had come out and visit, they do talk about it, and yeah. more so to come back and really come back and yeah. sit and enjoy it again, because it's a nice disconnect, you know, yeah. so I, I really... And it's funny that um, years ago, and I can remember it even as a child, that a, a traveller or anyone travelling on the road, they'd always be made welcome, uh, something put up in front of them Correct. to eat, and yeah. Yeah. and um, and just to sit by the fire here with, with the birds singing, you know, There's coming to like the it, end yeah. of the day. And you know, you get a lovely evening like this, you know, it's, it's, it's really tranquil, it's very enjoyable. Tom, I can see why you love to forge here. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And you gain your inspiration, it's such a beautiful spot. Well, thank you very much. And Tom, thanks for inviting me out. It's a pleasure, Margaret. A pleasure. I, 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 I absolutely, really totally. Oh, yeah. As you know, Tom, we always have a good time when we yeah. meet up. We always have the laugh. And um, today was very special now because we hadn't seen each other in such a while with Correct, all the yeah. COVID all going the on and everything. Yeah. But, but like everything else, you know, it passes and, you know, the sooner normality comes back, the better, you know, but... Exactly. We gotta make good of the situation. And the thing is, when you meet up with good friends after having not seen them for a while, it's like as if you've never been correct yeah it just carries on from yeah. the last day you met yeah. so anyway tom thanks so much we'll end the video here you're very welcome 
Because, well, Tom is going forging now again and I'm supposed to be helping him. <laughs> but um, it'll be too dark to film, so I'll say goodnight to you all and I hope you enjoyed my visit out to my great old pal, the Gobba, Tom King. My pleasure, Margaret. Great to have you. Thank you. Looking forward to get you again. Thank you, Tom. You're very welcome.